So you mentioned OGs um, and you mentioned Jay Prince specifically and spoke about him as a man with a lot of integrity. He went on a million dollars worth of game. And it's one of the few times that you really heard him um, speaking directly to somebody. In this case, it was um, Offset. And um, it sounded like he got a real problem with Offset. Why, why, why do you think, you knowing that man, you knowing Jay Prince since the 90s, early 90s, being signed to him, doing business with him, why, why was it important for him because most times when you hear about Jay Prince, you hear about him squashing beefs. In, in this particular time, you know, I, I ain't gonna say he put it out there as a threat, but he made, he, it, it was a harsh truth. Like, yo, don't put me in a place where I got a fear for my life, where I got a fear for myself or defend myself to what, what, whatever he said. Why, why, why do you think he uh, made it a point to go on a platform as big as um, million dollars worth of game and, and, and put it out there like that. It's one reason, the internet. You know, people understand Jay saved more lives than, 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 you know, than what people think that he's done out here. And he, you're right, he has squashed a lot of beefs. A lot not of beef. Not just in the industry, but we're talking in Houston, another city. I mean, he's been there. He's been there at the meetings. He's been there at the sit downs. A lot of people don't know this. A lot of people don't. They don't have the influence to even be a part of this. You know, I wish that Jay and Offset, I wish any, at, at this point, I had to learn too. Bringing, bringing stuff to the internet is only gonna magnify it worse. It's gonna, it's not gonna, it's not gonna, if, the, if solutions are to be, if, if resolve is to ever to come, it's not going to be done addressing each other on the internet. And I think Jay knows that. But we're talking about men with pride and we're talking about the internet. You know, I've never heard Offset say too much ever. <laughs> you know what no, I'm saying? No, no, never. I mean, honestly, honestly, like, you know, the, the way the Migos carry themselves from what I see is they don't talk too much. And that's always good. That's yeah. always good. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I'm sure he's hurting. Oh, I'm sure Offset's hurting. You know, I mean, it looked like they really grew up together from the pictures and everything. Uh, yo, I'm going I'm to I'm tell you them. something. Like, of course he hurting. That dumb, dumb dudes been doing this for 10 years strong that we know of. And they, and they grew up together their whole and life. And they grew up together. So no matter what that relationship was on the night that um, Take passed away, that's still his brother. Them feelings don't go nowhere. Yeah, so the, I'm the, the, sure he hurt him. But the, but, but the problem is the internet. It's the internet. Yo, speaking of internet. They should um, never gave black people the internet. That's one of the greatest quotes, I think, that, that'll, that'll go down in history. Because it, it really is, as again, as much as it's given to us, it's taken from us. And man, I just wish that at this point, both parties just stay off the internet until some type of resolve can come because it's only gonna get worse by addressing each other and exposing each other on the internet. Okay, so let's stay on this whole internet thing for a second. Let's stay on the whole OGs thing for a second. Um, needless to say, what you call it, um, Offset came out and he was basically like, yo, everything you talking is fairy tales. Cardi B defending her husband. Yo, everything you saying is fairy tales. Too much um, for the police, Prez. It's too much. It's too much for the prosecutor. It's too much. Everybody just needs to just, shh, just relax. It's still yeah, an open but, case going on. I, I, where I'm going with this is, I'm sure you heard by now, Whack 100 jumped in. <laughs> Listen, and this again. is another OG. And essentially he, you know, he made it clear. When I see Jay Prince, I'm a test his gangster. Man, how, how do you think that that, that, that that would turn out? Do you honestly think that when Wack physically sees Jay Prince, he's gonna test his gangster? Do you think, how do you think that's gonna turn out? Let's just be honest. Somebody gonna die right there. And then what? Now, who are you proving to? 
again, because when you're coming to the internet saying all this shit, you want clicks, comments, reactions, uh, you want praise, like, but, at, at, but, it, but, but is your life worth that? People are putting their lives, their breathable bodies at risk when they do shit like that. Do you honestly think that Jay Prince, after all these years, years would allow WAC 100 to physically see him and cause harm to him? Because I'm not going to let anybody physically cause harm to me. Not, not at 57. That's it for me. Somebody tries to really violently hurt me, well, then Prez, 57 is pretty good. I've, I've, shit. I've lived a pretty, I've lived, I had a good run. Yeah, because that's how, I mean, honestly, Prez, like, like, again, things are said on this internet for reactions. Wax says a lot of shit for reaction because that's how Wack is getting his money now through the internet. But that, 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 don't, that don't even make sense to me. See, I, I don't, you know, you know, I mean, I, I mean, if, if anyone thinks that you're gonna, you're gonna see Jay Prince and just physically do him harm at that time, let's, come on, man. Come on, we'd well, be I'll better off talking much. about Mickey Mouse coming in the spaceship and dropping everybody a billion dollars. <laughs> Like, for real, bro, like, see, when you really come from the streets, a lot of this shit is just, it just, it don't, because, because you, because then I, I put myself back in the 80s in a situation, automatically, I'm thinking about that, and it don't match to the shit that's right now, so I just, uh, keep it moving. Nah, I didn't go in good for nobody, you know, I don't know who the OG is in that situation, but I pray to God, Clarence Avon or somebody jump in. And um, you know, Man, get them Jesus, two Jesus, jump. Jesus gonna have to jump in on that one. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move, and I catch you all on the next video.